Hi there everyone, I'm Brady who makes the number file videos and I've come to the other side of the camera. I'm here at the Royal Society where we make objectivity videos, usually with Keith, the head librarian here. Keith is going to show Matt and I around a few things we want to have a look at and today we want to talk about prime numbers. I'm very excited. We, like, we don't mind a prime number on there. I can go a prime number every now yeah, and then. Yeah, we don't mind. They're, they're quite a theme on number file. And that's always seemed quite modern. We're always talking about computers and all these sort of things. Yeah, modern in innovations and in prime numbers. Yeah, all these supercomputers crunching things and GIMPs projects and that. But you always say that people have been fascinated with prime numbers forever. No, it's true. And we always talk about really modern prime numbers that we're doing, or we talk about the ancient Greeks. Right, and so it seems to be like no, no one did anything for thousands of years, and then suddenly people invented computers, and we were off and racing. And so I believe Keith is going to fill in a few of the few we, of the gaps. We have plenty of material in between, yes. Yeah, so let's have a look at some of that. So here in the Royal Society archives, this is from 1847. Are these papers people have like sent to the Royal Society, or they're... that's right? So they, they've sent them into the Royal Society, and on the whole, they're not published. So they're the oh, ones really? that they didn't this is make the junk it into mail, the spam of the Royal that's Society. Right. Generally, this is the unpublished. But they stuff. kept them all. They, they did, which is rather great because we can see exactly what people were writing about, even the even, even the stuff that the, was a bit, the, the, oh, the, you know, slightly the odd. rubbish. Look at yeah. this, Matt. Look at this. So is this specifically maths themed? This book, or is this just the order no, they this, arrive? This is all topics, so oh, uh, it could oh, be look anything. Look at this. Oh, you're going too fast. Okay, I know. Okay, well, okay, this okay, isn't so much. This is just how much amazing stuff there is here. I know this is exciting for you, but let's get to this paper here. This has been written. This is from 1847. The Right Honourable Sir Frederick Pollock, Chief Baron of the Exchequer. Oh, so he's in charge of the, the country's finances. And the title is on certain properties of prime numbers. Usually these papers start with a bit of a history behind the topic. Oh, so you know, previously um, on yeah, prime numbers. Yeah, so, so previously on prime numbers, he, here are some of the key papers he's citing. And I can see in the following year here, Lagrange. So, oh, so he's gosh. quoting things that have been published. He's waffling. He's waffling. And then, then we're getting into some... So this, is like, this is like an early number file video. This is, I like to, th yeah, it probably could do with editing down. So it is a lot like a it's number file. It's a lot like a number file video yeah. in every regard. Yeah, there we go, there we go. What's so, he here? Oh, okay, so he's found certain numbers. So 720, if you add the cube numbers to it, they're all multiples of seven. And he's found another number, 2240. If you add the cube numbers to that, it's always a multiple of... Okay. Or add or subtract. Add or... Oh, that's or, true. They're always within a cube number of a multiple of nine. I mean, this is, mo this is early recreational mathematics. So he's gone, you know what? The country can deal with its own finances for a moment. I want to find base numbers, which are always within a cube's reach of a multiple. That is brilliant. Well, the nation is safe in his hands. I, yeah. say, uh, I like this guy. No, I like the kind no, of his no. gym. We've got another paper here. W. Shanks, Reciprocals of Prime Numbers. Okay, so remarks connected with the number of figures in the periods of reciprocals of the prime numbers. 1873. 1873. Okay, so he's got the inverse of these numbers, and then he's got 10 to a massive power at the top, and then he's equated that to something. And he's talking about periods in the... Res this reminds me a lot of emails I get. Well, probably like a lot of those emails you get, it says here at the end, this was read... Read but not published. Is this an early crank email? It didn't get printed. It didn't make it to press. Keith, is this common for yeah. people to put their heart and soul into something, send it to the Royal Society and... Yeah, I mean... It, it ends up in a number yeah. file video. <laughs> we, we, we still have cranks files and they're, they're absolutely wonderful. It's when we surveyed the archives some years ago for things that should be kept uh, and studied. Cranks files were the top of the fellows list because they're so brilliant. It's such they, an they, insight, yeah. They tend to reflect what's going on in popular science at a particular time. It's so good because I get emails from people who claim they've discovered a new pattern in the prime numbers. Mm. And it's great to know that has been going on for centuries. Yep. Oh, yes. Oh. Here we go. So another... Whoa, so what era is... Oh, I see numbers already. Yeah. This is what the one... What era I, are we in This now? is what I wanted to show you. Oh, my goodness. So this is called Rods to Find Prime, prime Numbers. numbers. Rods to find prime numbers. So and all, we've got no paper, we've got no explanation. It's just that one sheet. Okay, they've run the primes across the top of these ones. Right. All the primes up below 100, it seems. And they've ignored the annoying low primes, which never behave. I don't spot any other patterns in the numbers underneath them. Well, how, how about we take a picture of it and we'll put it on Let's the website. Put it, up. it just goes to show prime numbers not just ancient times, not just modern computers. Basically, it's always prime number time. Now, 
If you want to see more things like this, papers, objects, old fashioned things, also more of Matt here in the Royal Society, we've done another video, check out Objectivity. We've got loads and loads of videos going through all of these stacks of archives, looking at all these amazing things here at the Royal Society. If you found this mildly interesting, you're going to love Objectivity. That is in the possession of Tabby or her cat. And then he signs out, I have the honour to be, dear sir, your most obedient, humble servant, Philip Rashley. Hero. 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 Amateur scientist, hero for the ages.